to celebrate the Hubble Space Telescope's 24th birthday in April, Catalyst Science News has prepared a slideshow of some of the most stunning and memorable images of the universe that Hubble has revealed over that time. This year, NASA released this image of the Monkey Head Nebula to commemorate 24 years in orbit. Hubble has been snapping shots of the universe since it launched into low Earth orbit on board Space Shuttle Discovery in 1990. Nebulae, like the one in the image, are huge clouds of dust and gas that eventually compress to form stars. When Hubble was first activated, it was discovered that there were problems with its main mirror. It was slightly out of shape, which meant certain images were not in focus. In 1993, a mission was launched to repair Hubble by installing an additional mirror that would work as a set of glasses, bringing the images into sharp focus. This is the Crab Nebula, the remains of a supernova explosion. Supernovae are formed when stars at the end of their lifetime explode in violent eruptions of matter and energy that can briefly outshine an entire galaxy. Light from the blast was thought to have first reached Earth almost a thousand years ago and was recorded by Chinese astronomers in 1054. This image shows two clusters of massive stars in the early stages of merging with the 30 Doradus nebula. This cloud of dust and gas has been churning out stars for the last 25 million years. The bright blue is light from the hottest, most massive stars. This image is known as the Extreme Deep Field. It shows a patch of sky about a tenth of the width of the full moon, representing a 30 millionth of the night sky. But even in this tiny sliver of sky, there are over 5,500 visible galaxies. Some of the objects in this image are so far away that their light has taken 13 billion years to reach us, which is almost as old as the universe itself. The blue and green glow in this image reveals a dark matter core in the merging galaxy cluster Abel 520. Because we can't see dark matter, the mysterious substance that gives the universe most of its mass, we must detect it by how it distorts the light that travels near it, an effect called gravitational lensing. In this image, gravitational lensing is represented by blue, showing that there is a dark matter core holding the galaxy cluster together. This image of the Horsehead Nebula was released by NASA last year to mark Hubble's 23rd birthday. It shows the nebula in infrared light, revealing its ethereal majesty as immense clouds of dust and gas appear to rise up like a tsunami about to break. However, in visible light, Horsehead Nebula looks shadowy and ominous. While it looks like an earthly wave, this image is about two and a half light years across. It is thought that planetary nebulae like this one are formed when a red giant star expels its outer layers, which are then illuminated by ultraviolet radiation from the hot core of the star. This image, released in 1996, shows that the old star ejected matter in an hourglass shape. It is composed of three separate images, taking in the light of ionized nitrogen, hydrogen and oxygen. This image reveals a silky soft cloud of dust and gas in the Lagoon Nebula. The subtle shades of colour give this image a creamy texture like milk being poured into coffee. The Lagoon Nebula is a star factory where huge clouds of hydrogen slowly compress into new stars. This image shows the region around Supernova 1987. The ring of bright spots is the result of material crashing into matter that was shed about 20,000 years before it exploded. The Mystic Mountain is a region of the Carina Nebula. Its peak is a three light year tall pillar of dust and gas. This pillar is being shaped by cosmic winds of charged particles from young stars that compress the pillar, which helps to form new stars. Now that the Space Shuttle fleet has been retired, there can be no more servicing missions to Hubble. However, it will continue to be used to collect images and data, as long as its sensors are functional. This is Jack Milner for Catalyst Science News.